right, here it is. The Nike Invincible 3. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name is Corey, also known as Soul Focus. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Really appreciate it, it goes a long way. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to add. I didn't have much to talk about with this sneaker. It's not, it's definitely not going to be a hype sneaker that everybody's talking about that's so difficult to get. Maybe in particular, this colorway was a little difficult to get. I think even on Nike's side, they have a discount at this moment. And I have a few other sneakers that I want to review, but the reason I decided to do a review on this sneaker is because these are one of my most recent pickups. I kind of think that everybody that I know that reviews sneakers, a lot of the time that's going to be sneakers that are of limited quantity, maybe a, a specific or special collaboration that Nike or Adidas had done with some, some artist or maybe some sort of celebrity. And we don't really talk about the sneakers that we wear every single day. So for this video, just short and sweet to, to explain to you guys like, hey, if you're looking for a sneaker that you just want to work out in, you want to walk in, run, I think these could be one of the best that I've ever tried on. This color in particular is the Cobalt Bliss. I don't know why I like this colorway so much. It has this more like Daphne blue or grayish blue tone. It's a little bit touch of pink here in the Zoom X. And then it's just all white and the midsole right here part and the cushioning, that off-white or aged look that Nike has made so popular as well as a bunch of other designs. Yeah, but for the most part, Ever since I had gotten into sneakers, it was always talks of the Ultra Boost. The Diaz Ultra Boost was always the most comfortable. That's the one that I always worked out in, that I ran in. Felt like it gave me all the support that I needed. That Ultra Boost cushioning is still top notch in my opinion. This one feels a little bit different. It does have a little bit more stability and you can tell that the cushioning is stacked a lot more. On my initial try on, it kind of made my foot feel like my ankle was gonna turn a little bit. You really do get used to it over time break them in. And I've worn these a few times already, running, working out. Did decide to go a half size down in these. I don't really know why. Sneaker sizes have ran a little bit different. Retail price on these were $180, which is pretty steep for a running shoe. But I think right now the Adidas Ultra Boosts are going for $190 to $200. So it's really not that bad. They also have a few other colorways. Nike, which I love when they do this, they give you the ability to create your own. And I think they used to call it a Nike ID. They may still call it like that. I haven't looked it up at the time of actually making this video. But being able to create your own sneaker, your own colorway, I think is pretty cool. The support that I get with this, now I'm not some sort of like avid runner here and there. I like to run a little bit. Not my favorite thing to do, to be honest. I just wanted something that was versatile, that I could use for running, working out in. I really think these are top notch. When you first try them on, they do look a little big on your foot, but I know that this version in particular that they said that they kind of narrowed out the design a little bit so it wasn't so chunky. But when you actually wear them over time and then you see them like and you look at them in the mirror or something like that They don't look that bad. But yeah I just kind of want to make this video short and sweet to anyone out there that's looking for a workout Sneaker or some sort of running shoe take a look at these try these on at one of your local Foot Locker or finish line stores I'm sure that they'll have them in stock That's another thing that I love about this is the availability These will definitely be my new workout shoes going forward But let me know in the comments down below what you what you guys think of this shoe If you have a pair of these in your collection or maybe something else that you think is honestly better. I would love to hear in the comments down below. As always, please make sure to love life, love God, and love each other. God bless to everyone out there. I hope everyone has a good start to your week. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.